This is West Virginia Morning. I'm Teresa Wills. Across West Virginia, many towns and cities will host Christmas parades and other holiday festivals in December. But only one town can claim to have a historic covered bridge in the backdrop of their festivities. The town of Philippi is hoping to brand itself as a Christmas destination with a holiday twist. Alderson Broadus University student Malik Washington reports. Like many locations in West Virginia, the city of Philippi is looking towards tourism to boost the local economy. While the town is noted to be the home of the first land battle of the Civil War, Philippi also is vying to become a Christmas destination. The genesis of this idea began with the city's mayor, Phil Bowers. Christmas was always special here whenever I was growing up. Uh, I've lived here all my life. And then whenever you start thinking from an economic standpoint for our businesses and to attract people, we have tens of thousands of people that ride the Polar Express and Elkins, and we thought we're really not doing much to bring those people to Philippi. We are unique. We have the Covered Bridge and other historical destinations, so if we can enhance that with Christmas, I think we can become a destination in the state for people to come to. While Mayor Bowers championed the vision, the short window to make it a reality required the collaboration of numerous volunteers and several organizations. We started out in July with a room full of dedicated people, no budget, and just a vision. And uh, within two or three months, council and the county commission bought into the idea both and uh, gave us a budget of about $9,000 to work with. So we're hoping that they'll continue to commit to that. With this group that we put together, it was not as hard because it was one of the first times we were able to pull the university, the city, and the county all together. Help also came from a neighboring county as the city of Bridgeport donated numerous lighted Christmas decorations to add to Philippi's festive atmosphere. All was needed was a name, and Alderson Broadus marketing professor Dion Allen provided the most likely option, a covered bridge Christmas. Well, actually, it's something that just popped into my head, because when you think about Philippi and you think about Barber County, the first image that really pops into your head is a covered bridge. It's the iconic landmark. A lot of our festivals and events are centered around the covered bridge. And so naturally, it was an image that came to mind whenever you're talking about a countywide Christmas celebration. The Philippi Cover Bridge, which predates the Civil War, is the only covered bridge on the U.S. Federal Highway, Route 250. Philip Barber High School STEM and Project Lead the Way engineering teacher Brandon Antion reiterates the importance of the bridge as the centerpiece of the celebration. Philip is the bridge. I mean, that's that that's what it is. That's what people from the outside see is is the bridge, this beautiful landmark that that Philippi has. Why not draw attention to you know one of the most recognizable landmarks in the town? Antion students at Philip Barber have designed several structures that will be featured on the lawn of the Barber County Courthouse. trying to decide on, you know, what are some historical buildings, um, what are some landmarks in Philippi that we could use for the courthouse? And as I was driving through town the one day, I thought, wow, this library is beautiful, and and this is something that that we could really work towards. Then then one of the kids said, well, hey, let's do the covered bridge. Another one said, let's do a schoolhouse. Uh, And and so there there are so many buildings um, where we finally just broke it down into let's do the covered bridge let's do the library and i do have a kid who's right now working on a church of his own design our students at philip barber high school are also using their talents as art teacher john drew bell explains So we've created these uh, roughly 10-foot length buildings that the art students here at the high school, specifically the painting classes, are working on. So the shop classes put the buildings together, they constructed them out of wood, and the painting classes are working on them to kind of prime them and now get them textured and ready to go for display downtown. The kickoff for Cover Bridge Christmas will be at 7 p.m. on Friday, December 1st, with the lighting of a Christmas tree on the courthouse lawn. According to Philippi Main Street Director Tammy Stemple, the tree has some historical significance for the town. That is a tree that was actually planted by a former mayor, Caton Hill, who has now passed on. And he planted that tree when it was about probably three or four feet tall, and I would say it's probably close to 40 or 50 feet tall now. 
Um, the Christmas theme this year is Storybook Christmas. So all the businesses will decorate their windows with that theme. We also have a parking meter decorating contest. And then after the parades, they're going to have a Christmas tree lighting. Santa will be at the gazebo to visit the kids, and the Christmas craft show will be going on. While this is the first year for Cover Bridge Christmas, Mayor Phil Bowers explains that improvements are already planned for next year. We want to expand it to where it becomes even more attractive for people to come and see. And then uh, we're going to look really serious next year at a synthetic ice rink so that people, whenever they're here looking at the lights, can also do some ice skating on synthetic ice. And uh, we're hoping for buggy rides to our community next year. So we do have some plans to upgrade, and we have a great committee that's committed to staying together to make sure this happens. A Cover Bridge Christmas kicks off Friday, December 1st. For a list of events for the four weekends prior to Christmas, access the Facebook page for Cover Bridge Christmas. In Philippi, I'm Malik Washington. Thanks to the Mass Communications Department at Alderson Broadus University for that story.